day two in ukulele of our foundation series. Lesson nine. <laughs> in my head, that makes perfect sense. I know it seems super weird. Uh, let's go to the website, Jolly Roger Ukulele. Let's post our link for today. The link uh, is uh, about halfway down the page, usually. And it's right underneath. We have two ukulele classes each day. One is a more advanced ukulele class, and one is for newer players. And <clears throat> this is the foundation series, the newer player series. Uh, we're going to be working on the key of A today. I'm starting doing some, practicing some right hand techniques uh, to get us going better as musicians. And let's go make sure that the link is working properly. Um, everything at Jolly Roger Ukulele is free except for the Monday night group, which is the orchestral group. Um, and so send people around and have them look at what's going on here. Um, I one thing I promise is that um, I will make sure, whatever it takes, that you are able to play ukulele at a high level. And um, the way you do that is continue, continue to show up to the classes. And if you are getting in the weeds a little bit, you ask some questions, and then I can. Uh, I've been doing this a while, so it seems like I've probably run across most of everybody's questions. I try to meet those, uh, you know, talk about those issues during class. Uh, but it's entirely possible that I will miss something that's plaguing you, and we'll fix it. So just ask. Um, I'm going to tweet this. Uh, it's on jollyrogerukulele.com. That's our website. And I've been... I created a new set of foundation uh, slides, and there's a little there's a little lady listening to music and standing next to a giant ukulele, um, doing her thing. Tweet lesson ukulele lesson number nine. All right, good, 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 good. Twelve oh seven. We'll get started here in just a second. As soon as we get a few more people logged in, if you are logged in either to Gmail or to YouTube, if you'll just let me know that the sound is good, uh, that's the only thing I worry about. I don't have any ability to judge that. And from time to time, the sound uh, gives me a fuss, and I don't and I don't want to have to deal with that. The book we'll primarily be working out of today is this little booklet. Um, if you printed it correctly. <laughs> one you have to have a decent printer two uh, your printer needs to be able to do double sided and then when before you click print you have to go double check that it's set for short edge binding and if you clicked it double sided short edge binding then it comes out as a little book if you did anything else it comes out crazy which is fine you'll just have to it just takes you a minute or more to, to find the space on here and um um, if you live in Denver and you don't have a printer that will do this, you call me up and say, hey, Gary, can you get me one of those little booklets? And then I say, all right, you can come down on Wednesday at 3 o'clock and pick one up or whatever, right? Uh, so so that's what we'll be working from today. Um, I am going to take just a moment to review where we were at yesterday uh, and just talk about a few things to make sure we get get you settled in to the right right zone right off the bat. Michelle is in from Rockaway Beach, Oregon. A cloudy and cold 42. Oh, crummy day up in Rockaway Beach. What the heck, man? Uh, Vic is in. Uh, she's sunny in Eugene. One of the things we know is if if Michelle, who lives in Rockaway Beach, up up the coast from Vic, if she's having a cloudy day, Vic will be having a sunny day, and vice versa. So I don't know. It's it's apparently a yin and yang thing that goes on there on the western side of Oregon. So glad you guys are both here. Nancy, uh, on the other hand, is in Florida, and pretty much she wins when it comes to weather every single day. Eighty five, partly sunny there. Uh, partly sunny. What? You're in Florida. Come on. Um, by the way, if you want to go down and party, uh, Nancy has uh, uh, been hosting a lot of parties. I've been re reading about him on the news, all these parties going on in Florida. Uh, Nancy, Nancy's, uh, Nancy's the host of all of those. Uh, Jan is in from Lakewood. Dog is howling as I tune on you. Yeah, it turns out some dogs um, hate what we're doing here. And... Um, and uh, so <laughs> let's let's uh, let's let's try when we can um, to uh, explain to the dogs that they got to get over it. My cat 
doesn't exactly hate it, but he's finally learned to tolerate ukulele, but he's still, he, he's really not, like, the guitar, I think he's more afraid of the instrument size than the sound, um, so, uh, pretty much when I'm making music, he's, he's like, yeah, I think I'll go hang out in the other room. Linda's in from Colorado Springs, down south, just, just a little bit south of me. Uh, <laughs> Jan, you printed it wrong. Perfectly fine. It still works. It's just going to be uh, every other page is upside down. Uh, 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 oh, if you only print it single-sided, that's fine, too. If you print it double-sided, you do got to remember to go into your printer dialog box and print it short edge binding. Um, and But again, we're going to tear the whole book apart anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Mary is in uh, Golden, west of me. It snowed pretty heavily on the west side of town, and we got about a half an inch downtown here. And, and then Rob is down in Texas. Arcana 70 and cloudy so kind of an iffy day down there in Texarkana glad you're here Rob everybody else is joining us uh, remember if you log in to either Gmail or YouTube and those accounts are free then you can use take advantage of the chat bar if you don't again perfectly fine you can just sit in and listen uh, and uh, um, um, I want to take just a moment to talk about some of the stuff from yesterday um, yesterday using this little gadget that I have here is, is sort of a uh, uh, a new thing for me <laughs> and so I want to look at there Isn't that fascinating I can do that too that's really cool um, so there I am on the computer and you can see what I'm doing now and when it actually comes out are quite different let's go uh, to our um, to my website here let me turn me off and let's go talk just about a few things make sure that you are clear um, as to uh, what's going on, on this website when you get to Jolly Roger of course you guys have all figured this out now scroll down past the upper class this is the class I'm getting you ready to be a part of every day today in this class we're gonna work on don't fence me in and uh, ghost riders in the sky so uh, you know obviously you guys are always welcome to come sit in on that class you guys have figured out you scroll down past your the little lady listening to her music uh, you're not you're gonna stop listening to music and you're gonna start making music that's what I want you to do here uh, with the first link there is for Colorado people the only reason that I care that you have that is I do want you to have my uh, email and my phone number and so that's right on the top of that piece of paper um, right here dun, 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 dun. well it's not highlighting properly uh, that and uh, I want you to have my email address and my phone number and uh, feel free to call uh, I would say texting is gonna work way better for you long term than than uh, uh, calling uh, just be honest with you. <laughs> next thing let's double check you're holding your ukulele correctly you got it at about a 45 degree angle the same as Stuart has it here uh, you're thinking about if you don't already have a strap on your ukulele you're thinking about getting one and you're starting to put your plans together for getting a button put on the end of your ukulele uh, and um, uh, getting a strap it, the style of music that you're going to be doing here is much much more complicated than typical ukulele players undertake and it is going to probably make your life oh that's not probably it's for sure going to make your life 100 percent easier uh, if you have a strap um, I'll tell you we have about 100 people in our orchestra and when I look out over them on a typical uh, rehearsal 99 of them will have a strap on <laughs> and so it's not it's not it's not a rule necessarily but it's definitely something you want to do uh, so the simple way of making playing easier put a strap on uh, what you don't need is a capo and a pick if you don't know what those are consider yourself lucky if you do know what those are believe me you don't need them uh, next thing up we talked about the various sizes of ukulele here um, I do want most adults should own this size so a lot of times when people go to Amazon and they buy a ukulele they think, hey this I'm gonna do this fun thing uh, a lot of times they will buy either a soprano or a concert and for most adults that ends up being too small um, and your hand size determines that um, I, I've sold hundreds of ukuleles um, through my studio and I've sold uh, legitimately like serious uh, nice quality um, sopranos to two people <laughs> okay and they were both very small very petite women with the little teeny tiny hands um, they ended up with soprano but everybody else has either ended up with a concert or a tenor and by far and away probably 80% of what I sell is tenors 
Stuff you want to own, ukulele, duh. Uh, a button in a ukulele strap, we talked about that. Make sure you have a gig bag with a shoulder strap. You're going to be getting out and about with your ukulele. You're going to not want to just carry your ukulele. I was in the park yesterday on my daily walk, and there's uh, another, you know, 20-something young lady carrying her ukulele around, no bag, and it just makes me mental. Uh, this the, the tuner you want to own is a Snark STH. You might as well just go to Amazon and get one today um, and get it coming to you. I promise it's worth it the other tuners that are out there are just not the, not at that same quality um music stand in a light uh and by the way i don't have an agreement with snark and they don't they don't even know i exist <laughs> music stand in a light are going to be helpful i sell music stands at, at out of my studio um, I, I have searched the world to find the very best one um the problem with them is they're made in canada and we can't get them right now but uh, um when they're available again i'm going to be specific about what you should get there uh you'll need a three ring binder You'll divide it into sections. I'd put your baritone sheets in one section and your ukulele sheets in a separate section. Always make sure you play with a highlighter and pencil and around. Um, if your strings are white or black, that's what it says right here, you can do better. And so you want to get this stuff on your ukulele. It's called fluorocarbon. And um, I will eventually, and I, uh, I think on the website I have a, a note on which ones you want. But uh, I've been putting Savaras onto everything. I think they're the best. Um, but again, when you get ready to change your strings, toss me an email and I can talk to you about what you need to talk to. Uh, if you have a low G tuning, that will have a metal wound low G thing. Uh, low G string, your ukulele will be more expensive and it was built to handle that string. Don't go putting a metal wound string onto a regular ukulele. You will break the ukulele. Um, all right, so that came, we talked about that yesterday. Um, the, uh, tuning your instrument, we talked about that. Let's double check that we are in good shape. So I'm going to click on the ukulele one. Um, um, so my first note is G. Make sure you sound about the same. That's your fourth string. Next string is C. Next string is E. And next string is A. Okay, baritone players, yours is dog bone, D, G, B, E, D, G, B, and E. Okay, and that's what yours should sound like, more or less. Um, it's ukulele. Get it close. Don't lose too much sleep over. Some of you are A-type personalities, and uh, you you have to have it dead on exact, um, but you don't really. <laughs> okay. Um, I did make a note on here. Canadian tuning is A, D, F sharp, and B. They tune it up to D tuning, um, but but that's unique to Canada. Um, I think in New Zealand they also typically do that, um, but we don't do that in the in America. Hawaii is from America. <laughs> uh, uh, ukuleles are from Hawaii, and Hawaii is not part of America. And and Hawaii, they tune to C for the most part, um, and so there's that. Do take a note that um, I've got a picture of the tuner on here that you want to have. I also have a picture of a cell phone. Um, download a tuner onto your cell phone, and then finally, how to use relative tuning. Uh, uh, you click hold down on the A on the fourth string, and it'll sound the same as the first string. Hold down on the fourth fret of the third string, and it'll sound the same as the string below it. And you hold down the fifth fret of the second string, and it'll sound the same as the one below it. Um, and by the way, not unimportantly, those of you with baritones, um, you have a very similar piece of paper here. Um, uh, how to tune your baritone. It's taking a minute to open up. Apologize. I haven't opened it up in a while. But here's your relative tuning. You, you Your fifth string... Uh, I'm sorry, four string fifth fret sounds the same as the one below it. So your relative tuning is a little bit different. Um, you'll notice on this that I um, don't even give you the other options for how to tune your ukulele. Just get a snark. A um, couple of other things to talk about. I do give you on lesson four, if you were here in town and we were w working one on one, um, we would talk about this thing. This is where all of the notes are on the ukulele fretboard. Those of you with prior music knowledge know, oh my gosh, this is super important. It's not. It is absolutely not. You do not need to know this information. But some of you just have to, have to, have to feel like this is something you want to work on. Those of you without prior music knowledge, you should just ignore this piece of paper. It is not something you're going to be able to need to know anytime at all um, uh, unless you become... I'm trying to think of a reason why you would need to know that. It is, it's something to know for... Um, uh, your own uh, personal education and to make you feel better about yourself but it is not something that you need to know here's the baritone one um, oops, the tuning one uh, the tuning one here 
uh, I'm sorry, the fretboard one. And again, I haven't opened it up in a while, so it, it takes a minute to, to open up on the computer. Um, it is the same thing. You need to know what it is only if you feel like you need to know what it is. Uh, but we don't really use these notes necessarily in fretted instruments um, because we're really talking about hand shapes and that sort of thing. So just know you don't really need to know the fretboard. Chord charts are on here. I only have the ukulele one right now. This is something you want to print out and put in your notebook. Um, these will come in handy down the road. Um, but the good news is these days there's an app for this. This is very, very helpful if you're just like, I know I'm not really a cell phone person um, then then you'll need to use this but um, we have apps to replace this now um, I will eventually have a baritone one of these they take takes about a week to create something like this and I just haven't had the week to get it done um, I would suggest lesson number six this is a practice log go through write down how much time you spend each day um, in class and, and and practicing on your ukulele and any notes keep yourself a little log it, it will be amusing to look back at it uh, down the road somewhere it's not something Thing that I, I feel like is critical to your success but it is something that will make you feel like hey I'm like if you're not getting any better you look at your progress log and be like oh or your uh, your pro practice log and be like oh I haven't practiced all week that's why the other thing I do think is helpful um, on there the Jolly Roger ukulele progress tracker it goes right straight down all of the lessons that we're gonna do so lessons 1 through 30 we're gonna do all of these lessons Write down the date you did it and then any kind of notes that you had about that. Um, I think that's probably a helpful tool for you. All right, let's pull up Frere Shaka. Um, and um, I'm going to turn off my screen now and come back. And you uh, will put, turn me on and turn the screen off. And um, we're going to play Frere Jaca. Okay, yesterday we went through this. Um, and today we're going to um, do just a bit of a review on it, make sure that you guys got got the general idea of what I thought I said. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, oh, Q made it in. All right, blue skies up in Northern California. Yeah, all right. I know I heard uh, Pauline in uh, one of my previous classes. She says, well, you guys are having a beautiful day up there. All right, here we go. Let's grab the Frere Jaca ukulele version first. And um, what we want to do uh, early on is get used to playing two separate ways on everything. And so um, with Frere Jaca, the ukulele version, baritone players, you're going to grab your A chord. And the rest of us are going to grab a different A chord. So baritones, you grab an index, middle, and ring. You're going to grab them just like that. That's your A chord. We're going to dive into that even more today. Ukulele players, index finger here, middle finger there. Index finger on the third string up, one, two, three, first fret, middle finger, top string, fourth fret. Okay, first time through, we're going to thumb. Ready? Play. Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, Dormez-vous, Dormez-vous, Sonne les matines. Sonne le Martinez, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, and then stop and let that ring. Thoughts out here are: Is your thumb back here where I can't see it? Is your ukulele at about a 45 degree angle? Is um, the back of the ukulele up against your belly? Okay, right there, just bam, right, you know, a little lower, a little higher, somewhere in there. Okay, um, um, and then um, do we have uh, one, two? three, four, strumming about where the neck and the body come together, right, that's probably the prettiest place, okay, let's take these four fingers, grab four strings, upper string, middle, third, third string, second string, first string, okay, let's do it again, are you sleeping, are you sleeping, brother John, brother John, morning bells are ringing, beats in every single measure um, we just want to make sure that you're not letting the melody 
drive you around. You're driving the melody. You're keeping the nice steady beat um, and then singing over the top of it. Okay. Next thing we did, um, baritone players, you stay on chords right now. You're going to still give us four beats. Okay. Um, but we're going to now play the melody. We're going to play it much slower. The reason we slow the whole thing down is because when we get to measure five, we have to play that kind of fast. And so we're going to take our time uh, going measures one through four. And then when we get to measure five and six, we got to go faster. Sonele uh, Martinez. Now, baritone players, you don't change your speed. One, two, three, four. Every single measure. Okay? Here we go. From the top, we're going to play the melody. This is Sean, the top string of your ukulele. Our top string, top line on the tablature is your lowest string on your ukulele, gravitationally speaking. One, two, three, four. Zero, two, four. Zero, zero, two, four. Zero, slide up. Four, five, seven, strum. Four, five, seven, strum. Here we go. Seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh. Seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh. First string, second string, first string, strum. First string, second string, first string. And let everything ring out so beautiful. And then we wrap up the song. Okay, let's do it one more time. Um, baritone, stay on chords. Ukulele players, you're plucking the melody. One, two, three, four. Open, middle, pinky, open, open, middle, pinky, open. Index, middle, pinky, index, middle, pinky, ring, pinky, ring, middle, index, open, ring, pinky, ring, middle, index, open, first string, second string, first string, first string, second string, first string. Ring. All right, beautiful. Um, I noticed that my screen has frozen. <laughs> we will find out if your screen is frozen next. Um, oh dear, I've never had this happen before. Interesting. So we'll see. We'll see if I'm continuing to to move forward. Um, uh, now we've got to switch instruments. Okay. So grab your um, ukulele. I'm sorry, grab your baritone sheet music. I'm going to play baritone, and I am indeed frozen. Ha, huh. fascinating, 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 fascinating. Um, let's see, how do I fix that? Um, go here, come back here, turn this off. Then here, turn me off, turn me back on. I'm still frozen. Why am I frozen? Can you guys let me know if you can hear me at all? Um, actually, I don't think that's going to work. I have never frozen using this software before. So I don't know what to do here. Let me think. Why is it frozen? Enable, uh, enable preview. Enable preview. I am totally frozen. Let me know if you're hearing me at all. I may have to start, restart, stop streaming. Let me stop streaming. You can hear me. Fro I'm frozen. Uh, but let me try a refresh. Now let's try Jan. Let's try a refresh. Is there a refresh button on here? How funny. Screenshot. Um, this has never happened before. So you can hear me, but I am frozen on the screen. Yeah, I'm definitely frozen. And I don't. Uh, let's turn off the streaming. Let's turn that off. Yeah. Okay, wait, I might be back in the business. I might be back in this. Don't go anywhere. Hold on. Let me see if I'm here. All right, let me know if you can. All right, I've restarted my software completely. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Are you seeing me? Um, am I restarted up again? 
You're back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I guess I just have to shut down the streaming software altogether and start again. Oh, whew. <laughs> all right, I'm back. You can hear me. All working. All right, so we're back in business. All right, so sorry about that. I've never had that happen. That's crazy. Uh, grab the Frere Jaca baritone version. Okay, in ukulele players, we are about to get your first bar chord. Okay, so baritone, I'm sorry, ukulele players, you're going to do something you're really going to hate. Take your bar, take this is your bar. This is your what we fondly refer to as your bar. Okay, you're going to take this one, two, three, four. Okay, you're on the fourth fret, you can take it all the way up and down, and then your pinky is going to go on seven. So from four, five, six, seven. Okay, so seven, on most of your ukuleles, there's a dot right there. So make sure your pinky's on seven, first string on seven, and then this bar. And then you're going to just squeeze, okay? And it's going to probably sound like this, right? That's okay. Don't worry about it. If you're squeezing hard enough, it'll sound like this. Okay, that's your E chord. Okay. okay. And by the way, if you're doing E chord on day two, there's entire internet discussions devoted exclusively to how never to play E chord. Okay, uh, which is a silly discussion. You're going to be playing this chord a lot, and so just get comfy with it. Bar here, pinky here. If it sounds like this, it's fine for now. Okay, squeeze a little tighter. Shade will come up. That's your chord. Okay, baritone players, we are going to play your chord. Your E chord looks like their A chord. Index and middle. Okay, baritone. Da -da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Four strums. Ukulele players, you're just strumming. Okay, one, two, three, four. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, brother John? Brother John, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, dang, dong. Ding, dang, dong. Da -dum. That looks good, right? Now, next thing we want to do is pluck it, okay? Ukulele players, go ahead and pluck with me. One, two, three, four. Frere Jaca, Frere Jaca, Dorme vous, Dorme vous, Sonne le Martinez, Sonne le Martinez, Ding, dang, dong, Ding, dang, dong. Let it ring. Beautiful. Okay. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is how we play as an awesome ensemble. Everything I teach is designed to teach, well, every, not everything. Most everything I teach is designed to be played in multiple ways. And so sometimes you're gonna play by yourself and you're gonna be amazing. And sometimes you're gonna play with other people and you're gonna be even more amazing. And so that's one of the things we gotta do. Okay, so Barrett ukulele players, you're still on your E chord. One, two, three, four. And not fast, we're gonna slow it way down. So one, two, three, four. And then bar baritone players, we're going to grab your melody. Here we go. Uh, zero, two, four, zero, and so on. One, two, ready, play. Oh, two, four, oh, oh, two, four, oh, four, five, seven, four, five, seven. Here's the fast part. Seven, nine, seven, five, four, oh. Seven nine seven five four oh first string second string first string first string second string first string beautiful so there's that okay let's do it one more time ukulele players um I want you to pluck this time one two three four baritone players one last try one two ready play oh pinky teach you face to face and, and of course you're trying to still figure out where all these notes are looking at the paper looking over here everything's crazy um the one thing we always get right is everybody in the class at the end of the song goes 
first string, second string, first string. It sounds really cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, and so that, so unfortunately, that's one of the one of the disastrous losses from the pandemic is we can't all play first string, second string, first string together. <laughs> all right, so. We, we have dug in, we reviewed yesterday's stuff, so hopefully most of that's starting to be like, okay, I, I don't know, I can't quite do it yet, but I understand the big picture of what I'm supposed to do. Let's grab this little booklet here, okay? And I just want you to look at the first page. If you print it out wrong, it's perfectly fine. Uh, what you're looking for is the A chord, the F sharp minor, the D, and the E7. Now, I'm going to start with baritone because um, your your booklet looks a little different, okay? Um, here's your A chord. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then your F sharp minor is kind of hard, bar here, ring over here, okay? Okay, and when you first start, it probably sounds like this. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Uh, baritone, your next chord is a D chord, it's like this. Index finger on two, middle finger on the bottom, ring finger up front. Okay, and then your E7, you finally get an easier one, is right there. Third string up, first fret. So if you're on baritone, here's the thing you're practicing. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that's your job. You make sure you're using your chords, and you're going to be able to play right along with the ukulele players because these are ensemble books. So in other words, most of the time we're going to have separate sheet music. Baritone is going to be in one key. Ukulele is going to be in a separate key. But on this particular assignment, we're all in the key of A. Okay, Ukulele players, let's take a look. There's your A chord. Okay, Dot here, dot there. That's what your A chord looks like. Let's take a minute to review. Same as on Frere Jaga. Okay. Now, don't take this pick. Don't take these two off. Just add ring fingers. Going to go two strings up in the second fret. Okay, and that's what that little triangle shape on your paper looks like. So let me see if I can get this where you can really see it. Okay. So you're going to take index finger, middle finger, ring finger. That's your F sharp minor. Here's how you'll know if your ukulele is too small. You're going to take a D chord, index finger, middle finger, ring finger. Okay. If you bought a soprano or a concert, you may have a hard time getting all, all of your fingers stuck. Second fret, all three of the upper strings. Okay. Now, there is there are people who will teach you to do this with your double jointedness. Now, I don't teach that at all because not everybody's double jointed. Uh, and uh, so I really do want you to learn to do this. If you have huge fingers, if you have a tenor and you have huge fingers, you can do put this one in the middle on string three, this one on the top on string four, and then this one right under here, which actually works out, right? Because you're in F sharp minor and you can just slide up to become a D chord. But I'd much rather, as you, long term, we're really going to want you to be able to do all three in a row. Okay, and there's your D chord. And then to get from D to E7, don't overthink it. You're hanging out on D, this slides back one, and your ring finger drops one string down. And that's your E7. Now, it's not going to be easy here today uh, to switch chords like you're supposed to, but I want to give you what you're going to be working on tonight, okay? So everybody grab your A chord for ukulele players you're here and for baritone players you're here, okay? So strum four times on A. One, two, three, four. Now put your F sharp minor on, okay? And your goal will ultimately be to not have any extra wasted time between chords, okay? So then put your F sharp minor on. Double check it against my hand. Make sure you're about the same. Okay, four of speed to that. Okay, next chord, D chord. Switch those two out. Okay, there's your D chord. Baritone players, you're of course down here. The ukulele players, you're on D chord. Give me four of speed to that. And now, don't don't overthink it. This finger back and this finger down. You got an E7. Okay, and we're going to strum four of those. Okay, we're going to go through all. We're going to go through this a couple of times. Okay, grab your A chord, go. A two three four F 
sharp minor go F sharp two three four put your D chord on D two three four keep it simple E seven and then back to A okay now here's what I, tomorrow we're gonna be doing this songs from the 50s used not all of them a lot of them used that particular chord pattern very pleasant chord pattern a f sharp minor d e7 now the reason i like you to work on that little little thing one you can start writing music tonight right you can start writing a song uh let's pick it what's the topic it snowed last night it snowed last night and it's really cold outside and i ain't going out there because i'm kind of an indoor person Right, <laughs> so there's there's a, there a song. Congratulations. Okay, uh, but that that chord progression there is a very standard kind of 1950s feeling chord progression. I want you to get really comfortable with it. Let's go through and dig into the songs on page one. You got uh, Frere Jaca, so grab your A chord. Okay, and now when you go to a ukulele gathering, what they will hand out is sheet music that looks like this. It's not really sheet music, it's just the lyrics and the chords, and you want to be able to survive that situation. So it's a perfectly fine way to play ukulele. Uh, it's the way most people play ukulele. It's where I get you started, and then we kind of kind of move on to the next level. Uh, most ukulele players don't move on to the next level. They enjoy doing it this way, and that's fine for them. Um, you're going to grab your A chord. Notice this is Frere Jaga, and then it says tab in A major. I want you to ignore all that. You already learned that. 0, 2, 4, 0, 4, 5, 7, 7, 9, 7, 5, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. That stuff is just uh, for uh, resources. Um, in fact, when I redo the book, I'm probably taking that off. I think it's confusing. Underneath that, it says, in a little bracket, it says A. And that means you grab your A chord, and then we play. Go. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Okay, right underneath that, um, you got uh, the French version, and then underneath that, again, another A song in the key of A, Three Blind Mice. Let's play it. One, two, three, four. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. They all went after the farmer's wife. She cut off their tails with a carving knife. Have you ever seen such a sight in your life as three blind mice? Okay. And you can also then go back through and practice them with your claw. One, two, three, four. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. See how they run. See how they run. They all went after the farmer's wife. She cut off their tails with a carving knife. Have you ever seen such a sight in your life as three blind mice? Okay, so that's, again, thinking about how you're going to use your right hand to create different types of textures. Go on to page two on this it should be if you printed it out correctly it's on the next page by the way those of you guys who have color printers the red ones the ones with red headlines those are one chord songs the ones with green headlines are two chord songs the ones with blue headlines are three chord songs and the ones with purple headlines are four chord songs okay there is one mistake on there <laughs> with soft kitty but other than that, that that's the, my thought process yeah, on page two, you'll see row, row, row your boat, and it's in D, okay? So ukulele players, you're grabbing your D here. Baritone players, your D is right there. You you have kind of a harder D to get to, okay? You put your D chord on. Same exact process. This song's in 6-8, um, but we'll treat it as if it's in two. One, two. One, two. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Go to your claw. Row, row, row your boat right across the lake. Don't stand up and rock the boat. Oh, that's a big mistake. OK, 
okay so there's row 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 your boat in d go down underneath that you got farmer in the dell we're not going to do it but the farmer in the dell the farmer in the dell i own the dairy oh the farmer in the dell the, cat, the g stands alone the g stands alone i own the dairy oh the g stands alone and you're not having to make any changes here so you're really focusing in on trying to come up with cool ways to do this Remember, this is the drum beat. You don't play along at the speed of the song. The farmer in the dell. The farmer in the dell. You don't do that. That's that's incorrect. <laughs> Your steady pattern. The farmer in the dell. The farmer in just always be the steady beat over with your right hand and every single thing else in your life is going to come up roses i promise okay i don't know what that even means finally grab your e7s index middle ring okay if you're a baritone it's right here okay index middle ring. okay now um, this is the only modern song in this entire book um, but it's the only one i can find that actually works well um, when i teach little kids this becomes their favorite song because when you see the words doctor in bold down there when i tell them okay when we get to the word doctor i want you to scream as loud as you can doctor <laughs> and and all of a sudden this is the greatest song ever written okay i want to play it with you um, i've changed the words quite a bit the pacing and all this stuff there's a lot of changes from the original um uh, it's in a different key and all this stuff so um, it's not exactly a um, repeat of the song that made, was made famous in the 70s, um, but it's, it's close, okay? Close enough where you would not confuse it, okay? Um, probably grab your claw. Let's try this. Practice claw through here. Got your E7. One, two, three. My brother bought a coconut. He bought it for a dime. My sister had another one and spent it on a lime. You put the lime in the coconut, shake it all up. You put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. You put the lime in the coconut, then you'll perk on up. Called the doctor, woke him up, and here is what I said. I said, doctor, ain't there nothing I can take? I said, doctor. To relieve this belly ache, I said, Doctor, ain't there nothing I can take? You put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both together. Put the lime in the coconut, then you'll feel much better. Put the lime in the coconut and call me in the morning. And then, in this little booklet here, I put two, two asterisks, and that's tremulo. Okay, that's when you take this finger, okay, and you're gonna go down and back up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, notice when it's a couple of things here. I am going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. I'm gonna open up my palm so I have some counterbalance from the weight. Okay. Okay. That's how you tremulo, just as fast as you possibly can. It doesn't come from your elbow, it comes from your wrist. Eddie Van Halen finish as you take this and okay so and call me in the morning <laughs> and that's how you finish it okay just a big old plonk after at the end of it for your Eddie Van Halen finish now here's your homework okay in here I want you to pick any of the two chord songs any of the green headlines tonight and um, you're, I'm gonna, in fact, I'm gonna flip to page 10. Um, at the bottom, you have London Bridge. This is a good example, okay? The main chord is A, and it's buddy is E7. So you can grab any of the green headlines out of here. London Bridge is falling down. So just tonight, just work on the green headlines, okay? Tomorrow, um, tomorrow we're going to, we'll review everything again from the week. This first week is the critical one, right? And so if you can get everything right the first week, everything else will just be more the same. Tomorrow we work on a um, thing called uh, the be be Make a Better Bar Worksheet, 
which will take us not very long to do. And, and you get to learn how to do arpeggio picking. It takes builds on the claw um, and, uh, and it starts putting your bar together. And then the rest of the time tomorrow, we're going to sing songs out of this book. Now, you have already heard I'm a terrible singer, so you have to know you're walking into um, <laughs> with my my singing voice. But that's okay. You'll, you'll survive. Um, and we'll play through a lot of the two-chord songs, and then we'll also play through a few of the three-chord songs. Um, it's a good idea to spend a lot of quality time with this booklet initially for two reasons. One, it's going to get you comfortable switching your chords. That's the hardest thing we have to learn as new ukulele players. The other thing... Thing that it's going to get you comfortable doing is having a booklet that you can go and whether you have a niece or a nephew or a grandchild, great grandchild for any of you, if you have a, a, a friend, right, who lives down the street that wants to play ukulele um, and they don't know how to play, you can absolutely just bring this little book along with you, sit down from them. These are all songs adults remember. Kids don't know these songs. They're all growing up with Disney. They don't know these songs. These are songs that uh, um, Kari says, hey, yeah, a lot of these are people's favorite songs. What's nice about this book is, yeah, as an adult, you can actually introduce little kids to songs that you think they already know. They don't know them. They do not know On Top of Spaghetti. They do not know Danny Boy. They do not know Yankee Doodle. They don't know You Are My Sunshine. They don't know these songs, and these are all songs you have. The one song they all know is Wheels on the Bus. They all know that one. Uh, but other than that, I have been utterly shocked the kids that end up knowing these songs usually have parents who are musical and so when i teach uh i teach at the suzuki institute one every year and uh, it's all violin students and all this stuff and i'm 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 uh the extracurricular activity um all the little kids they all know these songs because they grow up in musical families but most families are not musical and so they don't know they've never heard five little monkeys they've never heard a hush little baby and so um these are goofy songs that you can actually introduce to kids that they and they'll have a great time with them they love this stuff and uh and you'll be you'll be teaching them something and you only have to know those four chords right and then you just you don't have to really know how to play yet right but you can already be introducing people to it so um all right um there we go um when first time around q i don't understand that question when first time around when first time around um all right i don't know what that means q ask that question in a different way um all right that's it that's enough for today um guys this is it tonight okay Play, play all of the two chord songs because we'll run through them tomorrow. Again, lots of A's to E7s, A's to E7s. Then we'll start investigating some of the blue headlines. And then on Thursday, we'll be uh, open open season on this book and we'll play that. Tomorrow, we'll work, work on your bar. We'll start building up your bar. We'll also start taking this claw position that we've been playing and we'll start dividing it up by fingers and turning it into arpeggio picking. Um, and then you will be ready for week number two. So hopefully everything's coming along. Don't have hesitate to send me an email. I am perpetually wildly behind on email, but please let me know if you need anything. Um, I try to go through at night and find the people that I don't really know. That's usually somebody who's a newer per person, and I try to answer their questions first. And then somebody like Kari, who, is, who I know, if she sends me an email, I'm like, oh, it's Kari. I can wait on that. And then I never get back to her. <laughs> but uh, I don't mean to do that. That's, that's, kind of a, that's kind of an exaggeration, but not entirely. So, um, uh, so yeah. So send me emails if you're having questions or concerns. The big thing I need you to know is that this is a super hard. This is super hard. This is not Nothing that we do here is easy, and so if you're struggling, it makes perfect sense, right? You should be struggling. I want you to um, accept the struggle, accept the fight, and by week, by lesson number 29, you'll be like, this is nothing. I totally got this. <laughs> or you'll be like, this is still hard. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, have a wonderful day. Oh, Q, there, Q asked the question. When the first time around, I printed the booklet straight. I cut the pages, taped them to 8x10s. Not the best, but it worked. Yeah, right, Q? <laughs> Whatever you gotta do. If your printer does double sided, it will do short edge binding. And you, that's the key is you gotta click that radial button that says short edge binding. Um, but if you if it doesn't do double sided, if, or if it's just your head hurts, just print it out just regular and then you'll have to flip around to find the pages. It's fine. Um, the only reason I do this, I end up handing this out a lot. I use this with a lot, a lot of people. And uh, so I wanted to have a cute little booklet I could just hand you and say, here you go, knock yourself out. Um, 
And this will teach you strumming, this will teach you chord changing, this will teach you all of those songs that you grew up with and all of the songs that the kids don't know anymore. And uh, it's, so it's perfect for you as a newer ukulele player to get started and also for you to teach somebody else to have a good time. So, all right, Rob, good to see you. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forget, I keep forgetting to do this. Be planning your random act of kindness. That's what Saturday and Sunday are for, is you stop playing ukulele and you go do a random act of kindness. Two, get your vaccine or be safe or a little bit of both, right? Three, um, you should practice tonight, right? A little bit, don't, don't, not two hours, you know, 10 minutes, something. Uh, show, keep showing up here. This is the secret. Um, yeah, uh, if you'll show up, I will make you a good ukulele player. Uh, uh, if you are logged in to YouTube or to Gmail, if you'll thumbs up, um, uh, apparently uh, uh, Google will send me a, a free puppy at some point if you thumbs up me. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, you probably should because sometimes you can just go straight into youtube uh and not and skip over the jolly roger website if you want to if you're subscribed here um and then um you know uh, we'll be talking about membership to the jolly roger website over time so uh um please feel you know you don't need to be a subscriber yet if you're brand new to ukulele um you're going to want to be um but not yet. So that's all I know. Have a wonderful day. I will see all of you tomorrow. Feel free to come to the next hour class. We're going to be doing uh, Ghost Riders in the Sky and Don't Fence Me In, which are super fun, modern uh, cowboy tunes. And we're going to do that. So come feel, feel free to sit in and I will talk to all of you tomorrow. Oh, Linda, you do have to log in a second time. Yeah, it's a total, it'll be a new link for the next hour. Yeah, thanks for asking, Linda.